So basically, you know, here we see that your, your gums, really under there is the bone, and the bone is really what holds your roots together, right? Right. And you can see here, kind of similar to that, a bit of tartar, so right? So this dark stuff is this stuff. Yeah, you got it, exactly. Okay. As tartar accumulates, it causes what people commonly refer to as gingivitis, right? Which is the inflammation of the gums. And can you see it on your... Right, that's the bad spot, right? You got it. Yeah. Swollen here and this bleeding. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what she was referring so to. So she was doing the probing that caused the bleeding. Yeah, exactly. So let's see what really what she was measuring when she was probing. So similar to what you have in there. And actually, we're going to capture this image. Uh, as I told you, I'm able, I'll send it to you in, 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 in our discussion after. So the bone level is high, as you can see here, right? Okay. But this is not where we are right now. Where we are is about here. And why did that happen? You had so much tartar over the last 10 years that wasn't removed, that got under the gums, on the roots. So what you see there. So, so I have a bone infection. Yeah, yeah, inflammation. Inflammation. Exactly. So the gingivitis, the gum inflammation gets to the bones. And this is what Gail was doing. She was probing. And Gail is supposed to only be able to go maybe to two or to three, and she's up to the fifth bar. So that means there's a bit of a bigger space called a pocket because we had bone loss. And this is, this is where we are now, okay? We're here. In a way, it's early. And we don't want it to go here, further, where we get deeper pockets, and the more pockets we get, you can't get in there. More bacteria, more tartar, right? So, so if we get some of this stuff off, get it all off, then there's a chance that they can maybe keep where it is. Yeah, so that, exactly. So unfortunately, we cannot reverse the process, right? Whatever has been lost is unfortunately gonna be that way. But what we can do is prevent it from going further in, further, further, where teeth become, become mobile, infected. And when we look at, if this is advanced, right? You're not there and we don't want to go there. Look at the amount of bone that's been lost compared to a healthy side, right? Yeah. So if this is our priority, is to prevent it from going further, right? Yeah. So if we get all the tartar here that is fueling this inflammation, our job, your job is to prevent any tartar from getting back above the gum so it doesn't creep back under there. And with our help, at those intervals she was talking about, that's the trio. Yeah, the, that's treatment, the, three months right, yeah. the treatment, right? The treatment, your work at home and our team work together. Exactly, yeah, at the three month. So remember three, the treatment, your care, and our care, and our gum issue is gone. Your gums are gonna become pink and healthy everywhere. And we're gonna leave that early bone loss, if you may call it, we'll just say 15%, permanently there. Now the success rate is great before it gets advanced. Sounds good, so 85% is better than nothing. That's right, okay. you got it, yeah, excellent.